This is a beautiful little spot across the street, close to the park, that I've wanted to paint for a while now. I'm kind of intrigued with the shadows that come down the tree, into the ditch, and back up again. It's got a little house in the back there. I probably would not paint the truck in front of the house, but the little blue house and the white fence is pretty back there. But how do you get something like this to really show up? You have to understand, because it's almost all green, your different values, values of green, light, medium, and dark. And yes, there's millions of other little values in there, but those three main values are going to help you understand this scene. You also have to understand hue as well, and warmth versus cool, because they have to play against each other to really make this painting pop. Here it is where I've taken most of the color out of it, and you can now see mostly the darks and the lights. But it still seems like there's an awful lot of mid-tones in here. Still kind of confusing as to maybe the main three dark, medium, and light tones that I would need to definitely differentiate to make this stand out properly. So here I've darkened it even more so that I just have dark, medium, and light here. And this helps me understand my photo a little better. I tried to draw it and get my concept in, but I could not get the darks dark enough in this little drawing. But it did help me familiarize myself with the subject and decide where I wanted to put things, what was successful and what wasn't in this little sketch. So that when I prepare myself to actually do the painting, hopefully I will be ready. So I'm starting by putting in my darks. Trying to squint my eyes. Don't pay attention to what is actually there, what the scene is, but just put darks where darks belong. Later on, you see that I adjust the shape of this ditch just a little bit to make it work better for my painting. Why? Because the ditch is kind of straight like a hot dog bun. And I don't think that's very pleasing, so I zigzag it just a little. And you'll see that in the photo. Here I'm putting my mediums in now. Seems like a pretty simple, almost infantile way to paint. And the beginning of most paintings is kind of infantile. I'll have to go back and put some sky holes in here later. Adjust the colors, including that crazy blue. But I'm just kind of getting washes down on the painting in some places and just some basic dark, medium, and light. Putting in just a little where the blue is, where the house is, and scraping it out later so that it's not quite so dark. There you go. There's a little of that blue over on the fence there. Part of this will be wrapped around a stretcher board so you won't see all the corners. And I have to try to remind myself that, not put anything important somewhere where it's not going to be seen. Here I'm scraping out for my lights now. Taking a little bit of the paint off. I don't need it on real thick. I'll be putting it on again over this. And then I'm putting the tree 
branches in because those are the darkest darks in the painting along with that little spot I just touched in the right, right there. The deep crevice in the ditch here. Now these trees go out of the painting, but somehow they still just aren't quite relaying the way they really are. And I think that's because I needed to move them down a little, which I will do and adjust the shape of this shadow. So here I have adjusted a few things in the painting to get them in the right places. And I'll probably let this dry a little bit and then move on to the next stage. But you see within just a few minutes, you can get your painting to a point where it looks pretty good. So like all paintings, you reevaluate, you look at it and decide what's working and what isn't. I move my horizon line down a little bit because I think it's up a little too high. You wanna kinda of get it on the one third line if at all possible. So I have moved it down. You can see the comparison between the two, and I think it works better this way. The one on the left is the new horizon line. So even though I will probably develop this painting just a little bit more, it's pretty much done for the sake of this video because it's making my point that you make warm against cool and light, medium, and dark can make your whole painting for you. Thanks for joining me.